Yeah, I hear demons. Ah! Clipping, dude. It's just polite, you know? See? See? That's rude. What? <laughs> Let's go, guys. Uh, is this gonna be the... So I don't have the other note yet. I mean... Alright, well, let me, let me go back here just for a sec. And stop sprinting, goddammit. <laughs> Stupid. Um... A little bit of time to, to view all this stuff here. Huh. Safe keys are always hidden nearby. Nice. Wait, excelente. Why didn't you just let me take all the buckshot? I don't know. I don't care for filters though, so let's take a little bit of time just to loot the surrounding area. That was fun. I enjoyed that fight. <laughs> Tough, yes. But I think it went okay. I died, what, twice? I don't know how many I'll edit through. I do tend to edit through a fair few deaths whenever I do Metro. I try to be subtle, but sometimes it can be helped. But yeah, no, I like that. So good. Now I know what we're doing as well. We're here in the military art. I was looking for uh, records of the silo, its location, perhaps what it runs on, so we can maybe ascertain whether or not it'll still be functioning at this point. This guy looks a little bit beat up. Still got a med pack, so thank you, sir. Gross, dude. And I think that's about my law. I don't see a note out here, so that's fine. I think the Shambler did me okay there. I like its laser sight and its accuracy. Laser sight. I like its laser sight. Stop staring at me. My lisp. Nice. You hear that, right? Uh, no. Seems to be quiet. I hear breathing. Like, not my breathing as well. Guys! A fucking forest came to see us! Uh oh. I dropped a lot! Go there quickly! What is that? Come on, come on! Shit, son. Got it, got it, got it. I'll read that note when I have time. Shit, son. It's not gonna be good. I just saw that. I just saw that be open. Who shot it? Oh, what the shit? Um, right, okay. Spider webs the size of small houses here. Ah, what the fuck? Okay, how do I deal with these new tendril things? Uh, shoot them. Here's to do the trick. Curls. Under. Bang. Curl up. Are these things? Why do they exist? Why do they freak my mind? Bugger off. Man, I hope those guys can hold against the demon for a little bit. Yeah, take your time, Artyom. I don't hurry here or anything. 
I don't get why I could possibly do to. There's a key? Key! Sweet key. Oh, I never found that safe. Screw it. Oh, fuck. I don't think I can make that drop. <laughs> I have to be as quick as I can. No, I don't need to take that one. I do need to take this one. These things are weird. Why do they exist? Nope! Oh. Girl. Ugh. Ow! What the fuck? What's that? I can't open this. This door is ajar. Hey, what is a door, not a door? Just it's jar. Well, I'm stuck in here. What the hell? Uh, do I burn? And apparently not. Oh, maybe... You hear? You hear? Oh. Hi, guys. Let me in. Let me in places. Oh, fucking hell. Don't anyway. We'll come for you on our way back. <laughs> it's joke. Oh, God. The subtitle ruined that joke. <laughs> Any longer, and those beasts would have ripped us apart. Phew. We'd run No problem, no problem. I found many safe keys, guys, but no safes. <laughs> Again, dude, you you have issues. Seriously, stop, stop walking right towards me and like chickening me. Held your horses. What? Oh! Noise he makes! Holy shit! I did, maybe. Who cares? In the gas mask, we won't smell it anyway. <laughs> Filters! God, he made such a racket, he really did not like getting shot. And again, I will say, who does? I know I am, you don't need to tell me. I've moved well past validations. Neurons and synapses, supraspinal motoric system, wow. And Beast Rogatsky. Roadside picnic. Huh. Something familiar. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, you're way through there, huh? Nope, my key don't work. Again, it never does. Hmm. Well, I mean, there's kind of a way here. I can actually break down this door. Hmm. I'll let this go, because it didn't take me very long to work out. But I would just like to point out that Trying to break down a partially crumbled door has never worked before in this game. Consistency in game mechanics is good. Bang. Ugh. It just left the legs. I guess so that was, um... You know, honestly, I don't know what that was. I thought it was a watcher, but it looks bigger. Like, really properly well-built muscular. Either way, this isn't the way. <laughs> Went out this way as well. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Oh, 
Not gonna lie, guys. Pretty scared. Pretty, pretty scared. And I feel a little better if I can find one of the safes I was looking for. These aren't the safes you're looking for. Hey, I got an note. Uh, I read and reread all the books we had at the station until they fell apart. I always rushed the traders coming home from the far stations to be the first to try and barter for the few greasy tomes they could have brought, even though nobody else would ever want them here. I read anything. When you live 60 meters underground, books become your only windows. I worshipped books. So try and imagine my feelings at the sight of the great library, the shrine to all important books ever written in human history. But I will, I must not forget the reason that brought me to this place. If I let myself get distracted, start browsing these half rotten moldy tomes, the library will swallow me up whole and forever. Yeah, yeah. I like libraries myself, actually. I love books. I love that there's always so much in a book. You can spend hours on one book and there's so many of them out there. <laughs> A world inside everyone. Not all of them good, but still all of them whole. I can't do that, I can't do that. Uh, I can maybe break those doors open somehow, maybe the chandelier? It glows, Hazel. Calm yourself, Artyom. Uh, well, there's a chance I can retrieve it if I do this. Stung. Stung. Or not. Please tell me those bolts fell back down. Oh, hell with it. Die! Whoop! Boom! Surprise! <laughs> yes. Did you? Did you? Yeah, man. I've heard that noise several times now, guys. I still haven't quite identified its source. So, in summary, you first. Your pink pocket will it ever end? My, oh my. All right. You probably read about it in books of the saints. Wow, it's the one beautiful one. Still beautiful. Librarian! What's that? Listen, my turn. Librarians are some of the most dangerous creatures out here. Huh? If you meet one, or do God forbid, don't fight it. But don't run from it either. The beasts won't attack you if you look them in the eye. Now remember, never let them out of your sight. Show them your back, you die. Okay, if a beast gets nervous, move away, but slowly, and if you shoot, well, look or don't look, you won't see anything ever again. That's the most terrifying thing I've ever heard in my life. Whoa, Bella! Get him. He's still with us, he's still with us. You okay? Okay, he's still alive. Artyom, I must take him to Polis. You'll have to find the map yourself. Here are the floor plans. The entrance to the military archive is somewhere on the first floor of the library. The door the librarian went through leads there. There's not much time. Don't come in. Go now, and remember what I told you about the beast, okay? I'll try to come back as soon as possible. Go. Did you just say Dawn's coming? It's the middle of the day! <laughs> that might be a holdover from, I believe, now don't quote me on this, but I think the original, I think this version of Metro 2033 Redux has some sort of day-night cycle. Now, this strikes me as a rather odd mechanic. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but 
Why in a linear shooter would you have a day-night mechanic? What's the point? Surely the fact that you're able to dictate day and night allows you to set the mood yourself. You know, you can you can choose whether it's night or day in a particular level. And for the record, the, the levels where it's been night and the levels where it should, which it have been day, I very much enjoyed. Um, or you know, maybe maybe I'm talking at my arse. Maybe there isn't a night day mechanic because, like I say, that does seem like a bit of a weird thing. It's just it was part of the list where it said you know this is one some of the stuff that they added. But yeah, it just seems a bit weird. <laughs> Or that line could simply be a holdover from Metro 2033, uh, the original version. Maybe it was before Dawn here, but it's definitely Dawn now, so, you know, shut your face. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry guys, just having a bit of a check on the time. Uh, yeah, so I'm actually going to call this session off here because it's been... Oh, no, no, no flies, no flies. It's been a long enough session. Um, I hope you guys didn't mind the flicking back and forth between the normal and hardcore modes. It's just it was necessary for me to you know get a better feel for the different difficulty settings and which one suits me best. I'm pretty sure it's hardcore. Though if I run into major difficulties later on, I may change it back, but I doubt it. I'm I'm pretty comfortable with hardcore now. Um, despite its occasional frustrations, I think overall having the the greater challenge when it comes to other stuff is actually making me feel quite is it is actually quite rewarding. So yeah. Yeah. So in the next session, we'll go and we'll see a librarian. If you look at it, it won't kill you. And keep looking at it. What the shit? What the actual... <laughs> I don't know. But we'll deal with that next time. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I will see you in the next episode.